So before this video begins, I want to give everyone a quick announcement before this starts. I've been meaning to get this announcement out there in the last video and the video before, but I just forgot about it. So I figured I'd tell you all really quickly before I forget again. So I'm going to be traveling to Florida when October comes along to celebrate a friend's birthday. So I'm not going to be avail available in the first half of October to upload so I'm going to be traveling to Disney with some of my friends to celebrate their birthday. And I am going to be unavailable for a while. So I thought I'd give everybody a heads up on what's going on. So I'm going to upload what I can for the rest of September. But once October comes along, that's where I'm going to go a little bit radio silence, you could say, for the first half of October. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the topic of today's video. And just a heads up, this is going to be a spicy one. So a lot of people are furious at Unity right now, including g smaller game companies like indie developers and people who play video games like myself uh, that liked the Unity engine. But due to the recent controversy and the recent business changes that Unity has decided to make with their business plans is the best way to put it. It has rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And since Unity's announcement, they have completely taken over the internet by storm with this anti-consumer move. So pretty much what's happening is any game developers that are using the Unity engine, they will have to pay a small fee. So what this means is every time when someone installs a game that runs on the Unity engine or buys a game and then installs it, the developers like who use the Unity engine for that game will have to pay a small fee. So whenever someone like me or someone like you watching this video wants to install a game that has the Unity engine in it, the developers who made the game will have to pay a small fee, which is absurd and greedy and ab awful. Now, of course, before I get carried away with my rant, and I definitely have some things I would like to say personally, but before I get carried away with my rant, I want to pull up this article that describes how greedy and terrible this business plan is from Unity. And it's how scummy that they have become. So, to save everybody some time, I'm going to read you all the article in one go. Normally, I would usually read the articles in bits by bits and give my thoughts and opinions. But for the sake of saving some people some time. I'm going to read it all in one go. So this article comes from TheVerge.com. I'm going to read it to you all and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions after I read the article. The game developers affected by Unity's new pricing model are striking back. A collective de of developers across 19 companies, mostly based in Europe and mostly developing mobile games, has put out an open letter urging Unity to reverse course on its recently announced pricing model changes. The letter consists of some of the sentiments expressed by other de developers this week, but with one big twist and other smaller companies as well, like indie developers like Landfall Studios are also affected, but I'll get to that later. As a course of immediate action, our collective of game development companies is forced to turn off all Iron Source and Unity ad monetizations across our projects until these changes are reconsidered. The letter reads, essentially, these companies which represent Thousands of games with billions of downloads have blocked Unity from making any more money in their games. Some of the companies represent the letters include Voodoo You, Azure Games, and Says Games, with each claiming over a hundred games. There have been numerous messages from developers urging the company to reverse course, otherwise they have fret threatened to never use Unity again or port existing projects to other game engines. This collective action from developers represents the next escalation in the fight between Unity and its users. 
At the heart of the matter is the news that Unity will be updating its pricing structure to change developers for each installation of a Unity game after specific downloads and revenues thresholds are met. Though Unity asserts, or asserts, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, that only 10% of its users will be affected. It is still unclear how Unity intends to track installs and how it intends to a different. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. A valid install from a invalid one. So meaning which is valid and which install is illegal or legal. But let's continue. Beyond monetary concerns developers are also angry because the new pricing represents a breach of transparency unity established with regards to its terms of service it is common for companies to often change their terms of service and terminate agreements based on the terms of service violations in 2019 unity did just that terminating the license for software companies and profitable citing TOS violations, the acts caused outcry in the community, and in response to Unity's restraint and opulent licenses and committed to keeping the users informed for the future terms of service changes. In a blog post 2019, Unity wrote, when you obtain a version of the Unity and don't upgrade your project, we think you should be able to stick to that version of the TOS. The Verge has asked Unity for comment regarding the deletion of its terms of service GitHub and on this recent action by mobile developers through Unity and has yet to respond. It has responded to the boycotting developers. According to an email reviewed by The Verge, a Unity representative acknowledged that the company's ad monetization programs had been paused for an app and remarked that it was likely because of the new fees. The rep went on to say that in response, Unity would suspend its user acquisition programs for that app, essentially limiting the app's ability to attract new users. Through this action, it will hurt these companies financially. To them, it's not just about money. The new regulations from Unity will affect every project that doesn't generate sufficient income per user said Nikita Guk, I think is how you pronounce it, CEO of PR firm Gims, who organized a letter pushing developers to either migrate to an alternative game engines or place even greater emphasis on monetization at the expense of creating immersive gameplay experience. That was a lot to read you guys. I, I I do apologize. I usually read them in bits, but I don't usually do it all in one go. But so more importantly, to sum this entire article up, to make it easier for some of you folks to understand, the people who work with the Unity engine has made a massive ouchie in a massive business dispute and a massive business change with other companies. So their massive business changes that they were making with their engine for other developers that were using it, developers are just going to straight up stop using it. Like smaller indie developer companies and other mobile companies as well. But a big part of that reason is due to the pricing and the business changes where every time where a user installs a game on their platform, the person that makes the game, I believe, has to pay a small fee, I believe, whenever that happens, whenever they install the game. But Unity did clarify that, hey... If someone's trying to, like, reinstall a game on the same platform, that doesn't count. This is only a first-time install. So whenever people install the game on their devices for the first time, they're gonna ha the developers are going to have to pay a small fee. And this has rubbed a lot of developers the wrong way, and a lot of people the wrong way as well. 
Now, I'm probably going to be wrong on this part, but I feel like this is just going to lead to even more piracy, to where people are just going to pirate the games, but they still want to support these developers. But more importantly, I feel like this is going to be a massive step backwards for Unity, because this may major business change is just a slap in the face to everyone using that engine and pretty much ever since this news broke out every developer so far that uses the unity engine pretty much just said nah screw you unity we're just gonna stop using your engine outright entirely until you change course with this business plan but so far, there's been no reports it, or rumors about Unity changing their plans anytime soon. I think that anybody with a brain can clearly see that this is a notorious move made by Unity. And this is a move that nobody wanted. No one in the industry wanted this move. Nobody that's in the indie developer industry wanted this no one in the mobile game industry wanted this hell no one in the gaming industry wanted this in the first place and this is just going to tell people hey avoid unity going forward because of their business changes going forward it's been made pretty clear that the direction that Unity is going in is just pushing people away. Indie developers are avoiding them. Mobile game developers are avoiding them. And it's just going to get even worse as time goes on. And can you blame these developers? No, of course not. I don't want to pay a fee every time someone installs my game for the first time. I don't want to have to pay Unity a small percentage whenever someone installs my game for the first time no i'm not gonna participate in this shit i don't want to participate in any other business schemes that unity has planned with their engine and everything for all i care unity can just go shove rocks up their ass until they drastically revert these changes and it looks like unity is going to continue down this dark road and this is very unfortunate for smaller developers that just want to make games for fun but at this point man I, I i'm just baffled here at the changes going on within the game industry this is just disappointing to to see happening to smaller developers that just want to make games for fun and it's sad that it's gotten to this point where unity has to make a change like this that nobody wants but we're here so with this being said thank you everybody for watching and for listening and until next time i'm talking about unity's most notorious changes with their business plans with developers going forward with their engine and i'll see you all later